it's I'm never I will never lose to a white boy in my life. I don't care what nobody got <laughs> to say. It's like, can't no white boy beat me out on any day of the week. Hey, talk that shit, Dan. This is so sounds like the boy right on the right got excited when Devin Haney made that racist proclamation, right? That excited him, right? That's what makes him a boy, right? Not his skin color, as in the case of uh, Devin Haney talking about white men, right? Putting them down, all of them. Because if you're white, then that means you could never be a man, right? That's the implication. Um, it's not because of the skin color that the boy on the right is a boy, that Devin is a boy. It's because they, they act like boys, right? They don't respect manhood, basically, right? Because they, they don't even know what it is. So, we've had Bernard Hopkins say some shit like that, right? Um, and then he got beat up by a white guy after white guy. We had Anthony Durrell the other day say it, and then a white guy stumped his dick in the dirt. I thought it was interesting how the referee, black referee, right? Maybe it had, had nothing to do with it. Maybe he had... Harvey Doc was it? Had he refereed some of? Should I go look this up? Some of um, Teofimo Lopez's fights, right? Where Teofimo would jump over his opponents, you know, a somersault as they were lying on the canvas, unconscious or almost, right? I don't recall any referee having a problem with that, but uh. A black guy gets his dick stomped in the dirt, right? And what, it's not okay to figuratively throw dirt on him after some <clears throat> racist remarks on his part. I thought that was, you know, uncalled for personally, but, you know, I'm just saying. Why was the referee so in his fucking feelings about that, right? He didn't even get close to him. He just threw some dirt on him. Uh, motioned as if he were, right? It was in poor taste, I thought, but, you know, it didn't hurt my feelings. And now you got Devin Haney, right? Saying some shit like that, except uh, those guys, I think those guys believed it, right? Those two aforementioned guys that lost to white guys. They were deluded, but that's that's what they believed, I think. I think Devin Haney... um. What he means when he says that is that I will never fight a white guy that's good enough to beat me. That's what he's saying, right? This guy's so... Like, you can't really take anything he says too seriously because he's just a liar, right? He's constantly lying. He's saying he doesn't want to be compared to Mayweather, right? When confronted about it. And then that's all he's been doing his entire career, right? decrying Floyd Mayweather's success, uh, looking to basically copy what Floyd did, right? Following the Floyd Mayweather blueprint, even talking like Floyd, right? Lying about the Lomachenko fight after he refused or didn't pursue. He never pursued the Lomachenko fight, right? It's hard to talk about anyone ducking anyone because, well... When was the fight supposed to happen, right? No one's been able to answer this question. Because there was never an opportunity for this fight to happen. Why? Well, because Devin Haney was in the hospital, getting stripped of his title for not fighting his mandatory, right? Devin Haney is the one who refused to fight his mandatory. The fight was mandated, right? He said he was injured, didn't want to fight Fortuna. Um, posted some photos on social media of himself in a hospital bed with a wrapped up arm and um, got stripped of his title. Right? Lomachenko never got stripped of his WBC ranking, right? They did take Loma's title and gave it to Haney, which was just, well, highway fucking robbery. That's what that was. They just took Loma's title, right? And they made him feel like they gave him the, the better title and then kind of went back on it. There, there's all this controversy. Anyway, we're not getting into the whole French fries title bullshit. All, all that it is is bullshit, right? 
Loma was the number one guy in the WBC. That's it. Duh. <laughs> the dishonesty of boxing fans is crazy. To say that a guy that hasn't done anything, never beat anybody, is somehow the champion in it. I mean, the dishonesty is just crazy. But that's... That's unfortunately what it is. But... Let's talk about racism in, in, in boxing, right? Because it's supposedly not okay, right? When my last video on Deontay Wilder proved, I would say, that that's how boxing, as if you didn't know this, that's how boxing has been promoting itself, right? Playing on your most base fears. It doesn't matter whether you're black or white or, you know, Puerto Rican or Mexican, whatever the, the rivalry is, right? Clearly, there's a black and white, just just as there was, not so much these days, this Mexican-Puerto Rican rivalry, there's a black and white one, too. Because that's that's what the Western world is right now, United States, mostly, right? That's why these channels that push black racism, that's why they're big and popular, right? Because the shit sells. Right. And I think that's mostly why these boxers do it. And, you know, they're ignorant and, and they were raised racist. Like, it's just, why is it, why is saying I'll never let a white boy beat me racist? Why is that racist? Well, because uh, the concept of white man doesn't exist, right? Just simply because a man is white, he's a boy, right? So white people, white males, if you will, White men cannot be men, right? They're, they're not good enough. They're not men enough. They're inferior, right? So, it's, you know, it's not because he's a boy, whether it be Lomachenko or Caleb Plant. It's because he's white. He's called a boy. He's not a man because he's white, right? That's racist. Also, the implication is that, well, it's because they're white and inferior, they can never beat a black athlete. They can never be better than a black athlete. How many gold medals do you have, Devin Haney? Right? Right. How many how many men bigger than you have you beaten, Devin Haney? Right. So, I mean, it doesn't take a fucking genius to know who's more athletic, right? You think it's Devin Haney or you think it's Lomachenko? Who's who's better skilled? You, you think it's Devin Haney or you think it's Lomachenko? Right? I mean, either you don't know anything about boxing or you're just straight up racist. If you think it's Devin Haney, right? How many gold medals does he have? Right. So, yeah, you know, it's interesting how... Everybody knows what racism is. Every single body knows what racism is when white people do it, right? But all of a sudden, we forget when a black guy does it, right? All of a sudden, well, it, the standard doesn't exist. It's a double standard, right? It's hypocrisy. It's it's dishonest. It's super dishonest. Anyway... I'm making this quick video because, well, there are some black channels out there who pretend or claim to be anti-racism. They, they have a problem with racism, right? They're always finding racism where there isn't any. How's that How's that Terrence Crawford v. Bob Arum lawsuit, a lawsuit going? How's that going? Oh, well, it's obviously the, the racist system. It's the racist, right? <laughs> just like just like boxing is racist, right? That kind of racism. Um, you know, these guys always claim to be anti-racist, right? And they'll find racism where it doesn't exist and maybe sometimes where it does, right? When it comes to people being anti-black, let's say, right? But they'll say nothing about, or they will not condemn, you know, these anti-white racist comments. They'll say nothing about that. So how are you anti-racist, right? Oh, you're not anti-racist. 
you're anti people being racist to black people, right? Which exclusively, and you're cool, clearly, judging by your actions, with anti white racism, right? Which obviously makes you racist. <laughs> so, how are you anti racist? You're not, right? And I think a lot of these people realize this. Some of them probably don't. I guess that would depend on their IQ level and if they're taking the time to actually think about this. But, I mean, by supporting, pushing, um, propagating just black racism, right, and not condemning condemning uh, the racism from your own side, your own racism, right, not holding back your own racism just by being racist, right, and not criticizing racism, I mean, you're just encouraging more racism all around, right? Obviously. So are you really anti-racist? Well, no. You couldn't be, right? Because if, and look, I'm not a, I'm not a utopian. I'm not, I'm not saying that this is even possible, right? But if these people's goal, which is what they seem to profess, their goal is, was to erase racism, right? If there were no racism, they wouldn't even have a YouTube channel, right? They could make a living. So it's not that difficult to figure out why they do what they do, right? It makes sense. C-E-N-T-S. Right? It doesn't make any sense. These people are completely and utterly hypocritical and incoherent, right? And it's not that difficult to see. They are pro-racism, period. Now, I've seen, you could criticize them for their failings. You could criticize them for not being able to do this 100% all across the white population. But I've seen, we've all seen, right? A very, very, if you got eyes to see, concerted and strong effort on the part of white people to just be cool, right? And not be racist. But the reason why racism still exists is because black people in the United States have not met them halfway, basically. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.